We are Jesse and Katie. We're out here in Seattle learning all about blending. We got to spend some time with Anthony, one of their master blenders, and he uh, showed us a little bit of the behind the scenes of how they come up with some of their signature blends. The way that I describe it typically is just like how you build a recipe. Maybe if it's a coffee that doesn't exist yet, that you want to create, what do I want it to taste like? And then you think through your mind, what coffees or origins can I use that will get me to that place? Creating a custom blend was pretty fun. There's a lot that goes into it. There's all these like nuanced flavors that you kind of have to try and decide if it goes together. Seems like there's a lot of work that goes into creating each blend of coffee that Starbucks makes. Walking into the cupping room, it blew us away. It was really <laughs> overwhelming how many cups were on the table. The cupping crew drinks those hundred cups and they have to taste them. They have to take notes on them. It was a wild experience. Going to the original Starbucks store at Pike Place was really cool. It felt pretty historic and true to its roots. It was pretty awesome. It was really lively. So many people still go there. It's like a tourist destination. What I love about this coffee is that when we created this, we wanted to be able to have a consistent blend that people could experience on a daily basis and that it would immediately bring them back to this, no matter where they were having it. Beautiful Latin American blend that speaks to where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. The installation that we made at Starbucks headquarters was inspired by our blending immersion. We think a lot about the environment we're painting in, how people experience it, where it will be viewed, and what's the surface. And I think that's similar with the blends. They think about what it'll be paired with, the seasons, and where it'll be sold. Our artwork has like big, bold shapes that are colorful, and then also when you like look closely at it, it's got a lot of detail, which is kind of like what we learned when we were doing the tasting. You know, you just like have a cup of coffee, and you're like, oh, coffee, but when you really pay attention to it, you're like, oh my gosh, there's all these like other flavors inside of that coffee that I wasn't thinking about.